on like through a number of channels and uh, eventually got in touch with you uh, because it was like exactly where I, you know, the direction I was, uh, I was headed um, and you had some great insights and stuff. So yeah, I mean, you're definitely um, integral in, you know, in, in what I've, uh, what I've built it uh, and where, what I am building it uh, wise well, uh, for sure. It makes me feel special. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I appreciate it because I really appreciate how brilliant you are for the stuff that you've been doing. Uh, and, you know, especially the conversations that we had and how well you understand the entire DeFi landscape. Uh, it's it's kind of hard for me to communicate with a lot of people from uh, that high uh, degree and still have like a very cohesive conversation and be very excited about all the possibilities that are out there. So, um, you know, I, yeah, I appreciate it. it. Yeah, sorry. Go for it. No, I was going to say, it's, it's difficult to, um, you know, like talk, talking to uh, different levels of people's uh, expertise is always always tricky when, when you're dealing with like difficult topics and stuff. Um, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's oh. hard to know what people know. It's hard to kind of get on their, on their, on their level. I mean, I was like, I've, I've done a bunch of, of teaching. You know, I taught, uh, I taught in university uh, for a while, math. Uh, and so, you know, I, I was put through the ringer in that, uh, in that degree. <laughs> it's, it's, it's tough. Yeah. Hell yeah. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and introduce everybody to, uh, the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah. So, um, right. So, I mean, um, I've been in, in crypto for a while. I, I don't know, you know, for, for those of you who, who don't know what I'll do, I'll just do like a quick, uh, quick intro. Um, I've been in crypto basically since 2012, since uh, the early days. Got rugged by Mount Gox in, in the early days. That's that's coming to a to, uh, that's to, to a end now. I know. Yeah, yeah. It's um, a big deal. And, yeah, man. Yeah, I, and I mean, it's gonna it's gonna result in a huge amount of uh, to just take a quick tangent. It's gonna result in a, a quite a bit of uh, selling pressure on Bitcoin one of these days when the, when the payouts start. Uh, which is looking like uh, possibly possibly October, um, so yeah, something to uh, to look out for. Um, what were you uh, pre crypto Mt. Gox? Do you ever buy Magic the Gathering cards on there? No, I didn't even know. I did play Magic the Gathering, but I didn't even know it, that's what it stood for until like I like I don't know a couple years after after it shut down. I was like, wow, that's what the fuck. Uh, Isn't that crazy? Yeah, no, I never. Yeah, it is, it's crazy. Yeah, that, that's how I originally knew it. Yeah, it was so funny. I'm like, oh, this place Mount Gox got rugged. I used to I used to use a Mount Gox when I used to play Magic all the time. Yeah. And I was like, shit, it's the same fucking thing. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know, for, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, Mount Gox is one of the, it was basically the first, it was the first major crypto exchange back when there was uh, only Bitcoin. And um, I don't know, it was something like, uh, like it was bigger than Binance is now for sure. It was it was a very large percentage of all the crypto trading, um, yeah. and uh, basically they uh, they got their their keys uh, stolen through you know internal shenanigans, and um, slowly but surely got just drained. And as this was happening, they kind of um, they didn't do anything about it, and so um, you know nobody knew what was going on until like just tons of bitcoin was was stolen i don't know how much uh let me let me look up quickly how much how much bitcoin was stolen and it was, uh, basically yeah. yeah go ahead yeah it was like ten, it was like tens of millions of dollars at the time if i remember right at the time at the time but at the time bitcoin yeah. was uh was uh 200 and when the exchange got got hacked uh bitcoin dropped to 50 dollars, and that was the first kind of crypto winter for for uh for three years um, how much uh, BTC was stolen um, in Mt. Gox? Eight hundred forty thousand. Eight hundred forty thousand, and you know, so that's eight hundred forty thousand Bitcoin, which is which is wild. So about um, about ten percent of that was recovered, and so that ten percent is going to be going back into circulation. So about I guess about eighty thousand uh, eighty thousand Bitcoin, uh, which is very significant. Um, because the total million. amount of, what's that? 24, uh, well, the total amount of that many Bitcoin, so it's only 10% of that. So $2.4 billion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 10% of, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And a, a, a gigantic amount. 
um, you know, keep in mind there's only, tw you know, at max, there's going to be 21 million Bitcoin in circulation. There's what, like 18 million now. So it's, yeah. um, you know, ha half a percent, which was, uh, which is stolen or whatever. And um, I guess a tenth of that, which is coming back into circulation, which is a huge amount. But anyway, so back to, so uh, back to kind of, you know, talk, talking about my, my history. I was kind of in and out of crypto along the way, uh, doing my PhD in math. Um, and when I came out, um, I was, I got excited about DeFi, you know, DeFi stuff when it first got introduced and um, it, having done a bunch of data stuff um, subsequently after my PhD, I got, into, you know, interested in the data side of things and looking at on-chain data and um, the vision uh, that I had is like, well, shit, there's a lot of stuff going on on chain. People know things that other people don't. Um, let's use this to our advantage. And so, you know, I, I mean, I started, I did a bunch of trading. I did a bunch of uh, DeFi stuff. Uh, but really, I just, instead of doing that, I wanted to focus on on building something, um, you know, instead of just trying to do stuff for myself. And so I started building uh, uh, Wise Whales. And we migrated to Solana. Um, because that's where I was just spending uh, a lot of my time. I was super excited about what Solana had to offer. Um, you know, just uh, as uh, you know, uh, a, a fa fast forwarding just a, a little bit here, I'll say that we are actually going to be launching on on Ethereum soon. Um, we haven't announced it officially, but uh, we will be um, uh, launching essentially the same product, uh, Wise Whales, on Ethereum in in about a month. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Uh, but yeah, so we built out um, uh, Wise Whales over the past uh, year, year and a bit. Um, and basically the idea is we, we find all the whales on chain. So we do this in, in, for NFTs and for DeFi. Uh, our DeFi uh, is kind of uh, on pause for now because the DeFi and Solana is, is, uh, is kind of uh, dead for now. And we'll get into that for, for a little bit to talk about why that's the case. And um, it's like yeah. path to redemption because I, I think that's mm -hmm. an interesting um, interesting thing to talk about. Uh, but um, yeah, so so we find all the whales and um, we do some um, analysis on them. But first we we find all the burner wallets as best we can by looking at transfers. Um, and then we do an analysis to figure out how profitable they are. And the most profitable whales we call the, the wise whales. And uh, we display what they're doing in various ways through, through tables and charts and uh, through signals that we generate. And there's this like list of wise whales is kind of updated weekly. So every every week, kind of algorithmically, we find all the new whales, we analyze them, make sure all of our analysis is up to date, and um, you know, and uh, uh, tweak the tweak the list of of the the wisest uh, uh, whales that that we're tracking. Uh, so we also do um, now we have also the the diamond handed and paper handed whales, so to speak. So the diamond-headed whales are the ones that generally hold NFTs uh, long-term, and the paper-handed whales are essentially the traders. So we track all these guys um, in in tables and in charts. Maybe I'll, I could do a quick, um, yeah. Let, let me do a quick uh, walk. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Let me let me do a quick walkthrough for of the, of the actual product. I'll share my screen here. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, you guys can see, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, if for for those listening, I think you got to click on the bottom or top there, and you'll be able to uh, click in and, and and watch. So, this is again, this is all on Solana, but uh, we'll be uh, we're in the middle of building it on on Ethereum. Um, I think it won't be quite ready when we launch on Ethereum, um, our NFT collection, but it'll be ready kind of soon after. Um, there's no kind of uh, I kind of went every, through everything. There's no. Uh, stumbling blocks, uh, you know, actually things are a little bit easier on, on Ethereum, in fact, except that there's going to be more DeFi that we're tracking. So that'll take a little bit of, of time. The DeFi stuff, you know, I won't go through this. This is all uh, paused, right? But we do track the, the you know, LP tokens and swaps through all the various exchanges, uh, spot orders and perpetual orders and, and holdings. Um, and then uh, there's a summary section. Uh, the summary sections, um, yeah, there's not uh, too much, but these are the like what the wise wheels are are holding, um, you know, to uh, you know uh, by value. So you know if you know anything about Solana NFTs, uh, these are these are some of the, the the top collections that the most profitable traders are holding, and and you know it shows the total kind of value and soul that uh, all these guys are holding. Um, so we can see that in, in a tree map form as well uh, for for the nerds yes. out there. 
So Quest yeah. Source. Yeah. That was the yeah, so, big ones. Yeah, Clanosaurs, and there's definitely been a bunch of ETH money flowing in into Clanosaurs. Uh, they're doing some they're doing some good stuff. It's 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 a pretty interesting uh, uh, project. Uh, I could talk about each one of these, but um, probably uh, I don't know how many Solana fans out there uh, there are. So I'll just I'll stick to kind of what's going on here. So so this is the table. So this is uh, so in this table, basically every collection is is represented by a row, and you can like I'm sorting by by volume here. So you know um, we're on the one week uh, um, time frame. We can go to 24 hours. So in the last 24 hours, this is how much um, listing, how many listings, buys. Uh, this is the buys minus listings, uh, and then the sales, buys minus sales, uh, et cetera, right? The, the average buy price number, the held number. And what I usually do here, um, in terms of how I use this, um, I, I sort by buy volume, and I look for collections where the buys minus sales in the last 24 hours is uh, green. Uh, you know, uh, the greener, you know, the higher the number it is, the more interesting it is yep. to me, um, essentially. So, for example, Sharks is looking kind of interesting. I click in, and we can see the distribution through the through the wallets. So each number here is actually not just a wallet, but it's a, a cluster of wallets. It's you know one wallet plus its burners, uh, yep. and this represents an, a wise whale. So you know one one wise whale has bought 17 in the last 24 hours, uh, and another one's bought 12, etc. We can sort by by sales to see how that looks as well. Um, and then the the most uh, you know data intensive thing we have here the, the most value is in these charts. Um, so there's there's a lot of stuff here. So um, I'll take off the sales and, and just uh, let's actually just look at. So um, this is just standard kind of OHLC that stands for open high low close um, uh, chart. So this is the, the the floor prices and for each like period of time yep. it, it shows you the open the high the open price and the the high price, uh, sorry, the open and the close are represented by the top and bottom of the wick, and then the high and the low is the the top and bottom of, of the candle in any given uh, for any any given candle. So this is standard. This isn't a lot of uh, charts. And this is um, this is just the floor price, kind of over charted over time. If you want that what, that view instead, uh, we also have the listings. So these are actually not just the listings, but the the floor listings, uh, which you know the the listings that are that are close to floor. And uh, generally find that that gives a better kind of uh, view into the market depth. Um, so we show that, but uh, the, the most important thing here is the uh, the sales. So if we go to um, all, this is, so every dot here, so the gray dots represent sales uh, that have no kind of, none of our labeled wallets associated to them. Yep. Um, and then um, the, uh, so I'm just clicking on wise and wises. So the 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 blue um, the blue whales here are the, the the wise whales buying. The gold crowns here are the wisest whales buying. So it's just like a stricter um, criteria uh, on profitability. And then the reds are the the stells um, for each of these classes. So these are the wise and wisest. And then we can look at the diamond and paper hands as well. Um, not a particularly interesting story, I think, in terms of. Uh, diamond and paper. Although I, I would say what's going on here is there's a lot of uh, traders that are that are trading here, uh, so we can get these buys and sales going as well. So the bar charts at the bottom give you because there's a lot of overlap. So the the bar yeah. charts at the bottom gives you kind of a view of how much uh, yeah, how much is actually going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, and you can do it in we can get uh, monocolored here too, so that you know it's just red and greens. You're not dealing with all all the colors. So yeah, what's the looking yeah, man. I mean, signals off of this yet? Like, are you guys using this to build signal? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, we have signals that are, that are generated in the Discord, um, oh. and uh, through our partner through our partner Discords, we actually generate them as well. So we actually have two okay. two bots going. Um, one bot is for uh, signals, and signals are um, when the wise whales are particularly bullish, right? So if the wise whales are buying a bunch. Um, like for sharks, I think we probably have yeah, yeah, today. Yeah, percentage, uh, yeah. Contract, yeah, they're buying yeah, yeah, more yeah. than they're yeah. selling. Um, and there's other criteria, like the floor price hasn't moved significantly, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, Elixir is looking quite bullish too. So you know, some of these are like the signals are pretty pretty clear, right? Like this is a whole bunch of accumulation from the most profitable traders here. Over, this is a, a over over a one week period of time, so we can we can narrow this down to if we want to look at uh, the last couple of days or whatever. Um, 
So the signals are generated, you know, just by wise whales being bullish on, and, and buying more than the selling and a few other criteria. Yeah. And then we have notifications, yep. which are basically get triggered whenever there's any market activity that's um, at all interesting. So for like if the, the number of floor listings change uh, drastic, like uh, quickly, the floor price changes, the volume changes or one of these, um, you know, labeled uh, wallets, uh, you know, any, any of these labeled wallets do any significant on of buying or selling, we get yep. uh, signals generated. So the, I mean, sorry, notifications, we call them. And the notifications get triggered like a lot, like 50, 50 times a day or something like that. So you, you only want to have the, those like actually notify you if you're like an active trader, but the signals are like, um, you know, you five to 10 a day. So it's like, they're, they're worth having on and, and worth knowing for sure. And we'll be doing the same thing on this uh, on the on the Ethereum side of things when we uh, when we get going. Uh, so yeah, that's the that's the overview of of Wise Wheels. I mean, we got other stuff um, that we're working on um, down the pipe uh, pipeline for sure. And uh, you know, when we do when we get DeFi going, that's gonna be super exciting, especially on on EVM. Uh, you know, when when we get going on on Ethereum, right? So we'll be tracking basically, you know, um, when Wise Wheels are bullish on tokens, right? And the, mm -hmm. the amount of buying and selling they're doing uh, in real time, we'll have signals generated for that as well. So, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty dope stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm excited and proud of you know what we built on Solana. Um, Solana has been you know on, on the DeFi side of things. Let me just like yeah, what's going do, on there, yeah, yeah. Like, what's your take on Solana DeFi scene right now? Yeah, I mean, so the the story is this. I mean, you know, Solana has some had some uh. uh chain stability problems right and for like a typical user it's not a you know it's not a big deal like that you know um you know it's not it's not fun right <laughs> for sure you know chain goes down for half a day as we you know upgrade our validators um you know that's um you know it's not good it's uh it's bearish but it's particularly bearish if you are a large-scale investor in fact it's untenable to you know Think about having a hundred million dollars on chain, right? And um, you know something, something like Luna happens, right? Some cash, you know, black swan event, and you have, and the chain goes down that day. Not being able to move your tokens where you need to um, is just, you know, it's a, it's a deal breaker. And so I think that's the, the that's the main story on on that's Solana, true. Solana DeFi. It's the whole ecosystem, um, which is terrifying. It's not just like one piece of the protocol where you have you know a contract that needs to be upgraded and there's an exploit but the chain itself has had some <clears throat> uh issues like that which if you're i just think it takes a little bit more time to mature like it's not to say that like ethereum also had a massive issue when they originally launched do you remember the original dow hack <clears throat> uh, on e yeah fuck I mean, and they had to the chain. Yeah, that was a total shit show, right? They actually had to roll, roll it back. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. Shit. Um, yeah. So I mean, and it, so you know, Solana gets it. Um, and, and like the last uh, validator, the last time this happened, it was super disappointing. Uh, just because you know, every time this happens, I feel like it sets back Solana DeFi like another six months. Um, but you know, so they really need to like prioritize their testing. And the thing is, the um, Solana as a blockchain is much more complicated. Um, there's a lot more going on. The the structure of the data is is more difficult. Like the the validator, you know, what actually happens to maintain the state at the at the throughput that they have is is mm -hmm. a lot more challenging. Um, yep. So you know, it, it's just you know, it's it's trade offs all the way through. It just it is what it is. Um, so yeah, um, and, and you know the other side of things is, of course, there's uh, some of the the DeFi protocols like um, the the tokenomics were really shitty, in uh, especially like early uh, DeFi and Solana. I remember some of the fully diluted values on some of these tokens were just absolutely bonkers. I was like, this is absolutely going to crash. Like Serum, Serum, um, Serum was yeah. at like I don't know. 400 billion fully diluted value. It's like this. This can't possibly be sustained. Um, and just uh, for That's everybody who doesn't know, um, the the difference between so there's the market cap. The market cap is when you take the number of coins 
and you multiply the, the, the number of circulating coins, the number of coins that are actually out there, and you multiply by the, uh, the, current, the current value of the of the the current price of the of the token, that's the market cap. But the fully diluted value is instead of if you take the number of circulating coins, you take the total number of coins that will ever be issued through dis whatever distribution, all of the distribution, right? And you multiply that by the the current price. And when you did that for um, for some of these DeFi tokens, it was at astronomical prices. And and what was happening is there was huge like in, uh, there was a lot of VC money that was uh, getting you know uh, getting issued a lot of tokens along the way. There was a lot of incentive programs where they were, you know through liquidity pools or or whatnot. There were crazy pools in the early days of Solana and DeFi that were yields you know had had really high yields for what were actually legitimate products. Um, you know some some of the the, the top uh, like protocols that we have today. It's just the to that the tokenomics were really shitty, and so that was another issue. But I really think that the chain stability is the main the main problem here. And then there was of yeah. course all the all the FTX stuff that happened. Um, FTX yeah, was probably the next, like biggest proponent of what happened with Solana, right? What's that? Oh, <sighs> well, FTX had a huge stake in Solana, right? Um, yeah, FTX had a big stake in Solana. And they also had the um, the keys to a couple um, uh, the um, the keys to a couple of the protocols. Like they were they were basically running some of the biggest protocols on Solana in DeFi. And so the combination of those three things, mainly the first and third thing that 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 we mentioned here, kind of shut down Solana DeFi for a while. So our TVL is super low. Uh, but at the same time, Solana is actually built for DeFi. Um, there, there's stuff uh, that 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 you can do on Solana that you just can't do anywhere else. Um, mm -hmm. There's a you know there's a, a natural order book system that's kind of uh, built into uh, built into Solana where um, not everything is actually saved um, on the blockchain. Um, there's like these these vectors uh, arrays that that hold all, a lot of information um, that are super convenient to work with for order books. Um, and so, you know, Solana, uh, Solana is definitely a very much a natural home for DeFi. So, like, once, like, uh, you know, we sort out our shit, <laughs> DeFi will yeah. be, be coming back for sure. And, um, yeah, uh, what was I, what was I going to say? I, I just got to talk. Like, it's definitely quick. It's got a lot of upsides to it. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was a, I don't know, a lot of crazy things happen. It just takes time. And we, you know, none of these chains ever really like disappear either. They always kind of linger around. But I don't think Solana has that problem. A lot of the actual Ethereum development community went over to Solana, which, uh, to me at yeah. first was like crazy how many people switched. Yeah, the, and there's still there's still a good amount of uh, development happening. I, I think Solana is probably, it's I, I would say if if it's got my money for the highest developer to actual users. Uh, like the highest ratio um, out there because there's, you know, there's, again, there's a lot of stuff that just can't be built anywhere else. Um, mm -hmm. And we got render renders coming over to, to Solana. So a couple of tokens now, Helium and now, now render are, are, are migrating over to Solana. Um, yeah. So, you know, slowly, but sure. I mean, I'm, I'm super bullish on Solana long-term, but it'll take, it'll take a while, you know, some number so, of months. So what about Ethereum? So what's your game plan here with Ethereum? And uh, what does that look like? Like, what's the roadmap for your guys' development uh, towards Ethereum-based products? Do you have, like, a idea how which ones you're going to go? Like, you're going to do NFTs first, or are you going to focus on products? Are you going to focus on exchanges? Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, so so we're, we're, we're launching Wise Wheels on Ethereum, like, um, in, in about a month. And um, so our NFT platform, like, what you see now, uh, on Ethereum will be live kind of um, like probably some number of like a few weeks kind of after after we after we launch our our mm -hmm. NFT. Mm -hmm. um, so NFTs will come first, and then we'll be uh, building out the DeFi side of things. So it'll be similar to this. We'll be you know tracking kind of one by one the biggest protocols on uh, on on Ethereum, and um, just letting you know like basically what the wise whales are doing, right? What the most profitable traders are getting into in terms of tokens, what they're swapping in tokens, and their and their other DeFi positions or LP positions and yield farming and, and, and lending and, and whatever else. And then um, longer term after that we will be we'll be building another another product um, that will be kind of cross chain 
but really uh, mostly focused on on EVM, which is like very much um, like tracking all of um, you know like a very broad wallet network and a very broad number of uh, protocols, and we'll be using some some AI to do that. I'm sure I'm sure PJ has some 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 thoughts on that for sure. I'll be having some conversations with him. Um, but yeah, we'll be we'll be tracking the flow of money, um, you know, through you know through wallets and and through through protocols and and through through sectors of of crypto uh, in some interesting ways and really focusing on uh, the visualization of that uh, with some innovative uh, innovative techniques there. So yeah, we got a we got a long uh, long roadmap ahead of us. Uh, that will be like fairly heavily focused on on Ethereum. Um, I think um, basically whenever things look interesting, whenever a sector looks interesting in Solana, we'll be we'll be uh, you know developing there, and otherwise we'll be spending our time uh, on Ethereum. So yeah, it'll be it'll be it'll be fun, man. Yeah, hell yeah, this looks dope. You guys did a really good job on the interface too. This looks amazing. Uh, Thanks, man. Yeah. So what? So. Where are you guys at? Like, what are you guys looking to do? Um, are you guys having mints coming up? I know you guys have had one previously. Uh, I think you guys did on Solana. But yeah, what, what's your guys' uh, you know, are you guys looking to sell yeah. subscriptions? Yeah, um, so, so this will be, so the Ethereum, we're going to have an Ethereum mint. It'll be, um, I think we're going to be looking at around somewhere in the 2000s. Uh, it'll be a mint uh, somewhere in the 2000s uh, that will give you so it'll be token gated access to to the site just like uh, it is on on Solana right now. Um, yep. So um, yeah, and our and access to our Discord and the Discord signals. Maybe I should um, pull up. Uh, Let's check some, it out. Yeah, I wonder if I can I can pull up the, the signals here. If it makes sense to do that, um, just so you guys can see what they what they look like because it's actually it's actually pretty good. So the signals in our in our Discord, they aren't just like um, they aren't just um, like text-based signals. They're actually um, they're actually uh, rendered images. Let me let me see if I can share my screen on this in a second. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So yeah, this is these are what the the, the signals look like. Um, they get generated in our Discord. Um, so you know, um, you know what you know. Th so this is the labeled activity we have. You know, in the last hour and day, all of the uh, wise whale, the the paper handed whale, the wisest whale, and the the, the diamond handed whale, their buys and sales. And then we have um, we track um, the 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 floor price and the the number of sales, which is like the the volume and how that uh, how that's changed in the last twenty four hours. And uh, also the, the number of floor listings. So at the top, you can see uh, kind of a, a summary. So the trigger is uh, Wise Whale's uh, buying, buying activity in the last three hours. Floor price has gone down. Uh, hourly sales has gone up uh, 188% in the last, you know, the last hour. And uh, floor listings have, have gone up by 237. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the, uh, what's generated with our, with our signals and, and our notifications. In fact, it's kind of both of them are, are, are look like this. Um, yeah. Um, oh. So yeah, so we'll be, we'll be doing that. So it'll be, we'll be in the same Discord, the Solana and Ethereum guys. Um, we'll be sharing the Discord, both will be different channels for, for the Solana and, and Ethereum, uh, Ethereum stuff. And it's actually a really great, great place because you can imagine like the, you know, it's mostly just like analytics and discussion on, on NFT projects and stuff. We don't really, we don't really fuck around much in, our, in the Discord. <laughs> so it's a, it's a pretty good, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty good place to, to hang out and get some alpha too. Oh yeah. All right. <clears throat> um, all right. Give me one sec. Sorry. I'm just also taking some notes. Um, dope, dope, dope. So, uh, give me one second, Dave. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, we'll we'll get you. Um, so, if anyone's interested, we'll we'll obviously like uh, I'll shoot you guys a message when when we're starting a uh, uh, whitelist for 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 Wise Whales, and we'll get you guys uh, as much as uh, as much as you need for sure. Crypto monks are obviously right. the homies. Yeah, hell yeah. All right. Um, Oh, dude, well, I appreciate you coming by and sharing all this with us tonight. Um, you know, I know it's been uh, 
long time since we actually had you on. I think you were one of the first people we had on here a while back, <laughs> like a year ago. Fuck yeah, man. I'm still, I'm still a month older, by the way. Um, yeah, but, uh, you. <laughs> well, I know you've been busy guy. doing that thing, so, I mean, now we get to see what all that hard work is attributed to, so really appreciate yeah, it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for, thanks for having me on. Um, super, like, like I think Monk, Crypto Monks was definitely like one of the first, um, like when we were starting off with Wise Oil, it was one of the first, uh, you know, Discord AMAs we had too. So I wonder how many, yeah, how many people true. were in here, in here today, or like, uh, you know, recognized me from from way back. I know I'm from the first. Time time yeah. Too. Yeah. yeah. So is there anything else that we missed? Is there anything else we want to cover tonight? Um, you know, I know. Uh, you've got some other external things you were talking about doing another fundraising round, possibly, or uh, working with venture yeah, capital, I mean, anything to that extent. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, we are we're doing a, we're doing an angel round, so um, so we're doing a little angel round to to find essentially the um, the the progression of Wise Wheels beyond our NFT gated uh, platform. So I kind of mentioned it briefly uh, about what yeah. we're doing with our with our subscription site and uh, and and beyond. So I mean, if anyone if anyone is interested in that, for sure, uh, reach out to me. Happy to have, hop on a call and, and talk to you all about it. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I won't go into the details about that here. But uh, yeah, would you know if anyone's uh, if there's any investors out there, um, for sure, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Yeah, I'd say it'd be dope if you wanted to share your deck here with uh, another one that we went through. I wasn't sure if that was one that you were going to send out publicly, but uh, yeah, I can I can send that out for sure. I'll send it out right now. Cool. Uh, what do you want me to? You want me to uh, post it in the in the chat or just send it to you directly? It, yeah, so VC text chat is probably the best place to put it. Oh, I mean, everybody that has context here, yeah, VC text chat should be like two channels up from the the talk channel, the voice chat channel. You see, it's got like two lips yeah. around it. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. VC text chat. All right, cool. 